What's up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Dele for those of you who may not know and today I'm back with another video today this video is sponsored by Icon Swim I'm going to be showing you guys how I got my makeup my hair and the exact bathing suit that I'm going to be wearing from Icon Swim so if you would like to get ready with me for some Instagram photos then keep on watching but yeah, I'm just going in with the bronze vibes and this brush is a M332 brush. I'm really just using one shade today. This is the only color I'm using today. Because I don't want to do too much. I feel like sometimes with red eyeshadow, it can, I mean red eyeshadow, with red lipstick, it can become a bit clownish because you have too much going on, like too many colors and just too much. So with that being said, I'm really just going to go in with this bronzy color and call it a day. I think I'm going to go in with one more layer just to give it that pop, that effortless pop. And I'm going to go in with this powder brush that already has bronzer because I just really don't care. <laughs> and I'm going to pat this all over. I feel like I'm going to do, I'm going OD with my makeup today because we are taking photos. And when it comes to taking photos, you want to make sure that you have enough makeup on because the camera kind of take away from, like, the quality of the camera sometimes could take away what's actually there for real. So, if you go light with your makeup, it may look like you don't have enough. I added a little bit of cream foundation in the center of my face because I don't have my MAC Pro Longwear or my MAC Studio Fix Concealer, whatever. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and a part of me feels like medium tan neutral is a little too dark for me, which is what I'm applying right now. As you guys can see, it's a slight highlight, but I love my highlight to be super duper light. That's just the extra in me, I guess you can say. So, I'm going to just apply this, and then I'm going to go on top of it with a lighter concealer. If you know what I mean. taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige and I'm just going to apply this on top. This isn't super duper light either but it gives a little bit of a lighter shade compared to the Tarte. Like the Tarte is like super duper not light enough. So, my nose is contoured. I just contoured with some black opal um, hazelnut. Now, I'm going to blend out. I wish I would have put my wig on before I decided to do my makeup. Because when I put my wig on, I'm going to have to go down here with alcohol. So, it's like stupid a little bit but it'll be alright but I'm definitely excited for this look y'all it's a little chilly out so I'm hoping I can get some cute pics fast in a hurry like I don't have to be out there for damn near 20 minutes it usually takes me about a good 10 minutes like a straight 10 minutes to take my pictures look at them see what i don't like and fix it and take more it takes me a good 10 minutes which i feel like is a good amount of time to take pictures because 
even I feel like that's a little OD, but I be having to make sure my pics are right because if I don't like my pictures, I just have an attitude like my day is ruined. Now it's time to set the other parts of my face and y'all want to make sure y'all set y'all face. I don't know if my makeup is coming off looking orange right now, but it's not. I feel like it's the lighting. I wanted to do natural lighting today. I prefer doing my makeup in natural light. But it doesn't always work out that way. Because sometimes if you do your makeup at night. You have to use a ring light. And all this other stuff. But I love natural lighting. And just like a rule of thumb. For like the beginners. Natural lighting is going to be your best friend. Because it's going to show you. The true color of your foundation. Your concealer. Your powder. So however it's looking in natural light is how it's going to look with the flash. So you just want to make sure that everything is matching up. But I'm going to take this color at the end and apply it. And I feel like it's super pretty because we're about to have on red lips. So, it's going to complement our lipstick well. And you want to make sure that you are going back over it to blend it. Because we don't want like too much color. We kind of want it to be coming from within. So... shade it in majority of my lip and I'm going in with the Sephora red liquid lip I was going to use my Ruby Rude but honestly I don't know where it is but this is a really really great it smells good this is a really really great red too If you want like a liquidy formula. And as you can see, the fact that we shaded in our outer lip with so much of the plum color, it looks like ombre and blended. I'm actually going in with the eyeshadow for my highlight today. I'm taking the Morphe Bronze Gold. And I'm going to mix these two. Majority, I'm going to take the gold. But it's just a really, really pretty gold vibe. And I'm mainly doing it like on the apples of my cheeks. Like that. And that is going to be all for my makeup. I'm not going to put any highlighter on my nose today. I'm just going to leave it like this. So I'm about to go get my wig and put it on. This hair is actually super soft. Like that's one reason why I do love Sisterly Chanel extensions. 
I know y'all probably like, huh, this is all she talks about. But if I honestly was not a firm believer in the quality of the hair, I would not post it. I would not shout it out. Like, I would have went with a whole different company. Like, that's one thing I do want you guys to know. When I do promote things, it's for the best. Whether I'm getting paid or not getting paid, it's just for the best. Like, I'm not going to just flex for a couple dollars or just to post something like if i really like it i'll let you guys know as you guys can see this is the real length of the 16 versus the style that i'm about to do so i'm excited i'm a little bit nervous i ain't gonna lie because i never wear my hair different but it's like It's really like, why not? And for this look, I mainly was going for like that Karen Jensu look. I love Karen Jensu. I'm going to add a clip of her in, but I love me some her. Like her looks be everything. And she posts so much. Like I be trying to post a lot. It just be hard because I got to do my makeup. My hair got to be perfect. Picture got to be perfect. It's just lighting got to be. It just be a lot with me, but. I love me some her. But the style that she did was definitely my inspiration. So I'm hoping that I can get something. I'm going to have to curl this the opposite way. I'm hoping I can get something similar to hers. So guys, this is the finished look right here. I'm actually really loving it. I didn't think I was gonna like it this much, but I actually did a really good job. I'm loving it. With the red lip. This is perfect. So I'm about to put on some shoes and a jacket. So I'm gonna see you guys when I get to the pool. guys i just got back in the house and i'm finally done with my little at home shoot so i hope you guys really enjoyed it i had a good time thank you so much icon swim for having me and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye